Hello, good fish people. This is Nicola Maria from Aquas Planner. So today I'm going to test four different types of orange filter for a camera like a DSLR or mirrorless, like from Canon, Sony, uh, Fuji, Nikon, and stuff like that. So if you have one of those uh, company and camera, this is for you. Also, if you have like a Tamron, a Sigma, or whatever the type of lens, it doesn't really matter. At the end, it's, it's all about the, the radius that you can see over here, the, the size of the radius. And for the rest, it's pretty much the same, whatever the brand that you have. So I'm gonna make a comparison between those orange filter for Reef Aquarium and to see if there's any one of them that is better than the other one. Now here's the thing, there's a lot of people ask me what kind of orange filter that I use for this thing. And honestly, I don't use any. I just use the, the white balance from the camera and that's pretty much it. I set it like at 10,000 Kelvin and that resolved the problem. But there is one particular situation where, yeah, you kind of need that orange filter. It's when you use the light, the reef light, like full blue. This is where orange filter is really useful. Of course, you can edit like the picture or the videos with uh, the software with the white balance, but sometimes like it's, it's the, with the compression, depending on the codec or the, the compression JPEG that you use, like it's, it's, it went too far. So this is where the orange filter or this uh, brown activity uh, come handy. Now to make a de demonstration, I'm going to use my lab tank and sorry for the exposure right now. And I'm using my smartphone to show this footage. And this is my Sony A7S III, which I'm currently recording. And this is what the footage looks like. So you can see uh, it's pretty much a blue. But if I just change the white balance on my camera, just with the Kelvin, you can see it was set at 9,000. I think it's the, the highest I can do on my camera. And um, immediately you can see there's a, like a huge difference just with the white balance. That's okay, that's fine. You don't need a rush meter for that. But now, let's take a look. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm using the uh, Kessel A360WE. And I'm gonna just switch it to blue, blue, like that. And now, this, with the, the filter the, on the camera, with the white balance on the camera, uh, that's not good. So we can do better than that. And this is why I'm gonna use the orange filter. Now here are four orange filters that I'm gonna use. This is the Typhon 85. You can see just over here, like that. This is the Typhon 85B version, which came after this one, I think. This one is the KNF Concept. It come with, uh, I bought it on Amazon, and uh, it come with like a variety of pack of like different color or filter, but honestly, we just are going to use uh, this one, which is the brown. Uh, it's the only one that makes sense from the pack. And this is actually a prototype that uh, a company a crime company was developing. I'm not going to say the name because uh, the, the, I think they can sell uh, basically the, the production of this one because there was something that wasn't working properly for the quality, but um, I think it was like super interesting. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to just use it and show you like what it looked like because uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of interesting. Like it's different from the, four, the three others. Now here are little tricks to save you some money. Uh, this, the version that I'm buying, uh, all of them except one, uh, they are the 67 millimeters radius, uh, which is the biggest uh, mount size that I have with the uh, my lens. And the other one is uh, on Sony, you can see for my many millimeters macro is 62. And for the 50 millimeters, it's, uh, it will say just over here, you can see with the, the symbol here, 49 millimeters. But you can see I have like two different size. So what I do, I bought those thing, which is the X, uh, see a source from ECRSOS and they are basically a step down and step up rings and honestly I'm just using like two uh, three of them uh, so what I do I use this I put it just like so then after that I want to put it on the macro so you can see now the 58 millimeters uh, work actually on my macro lens which take a bigger uh, radius lens so this is a little trick. You don't have to buy like a multiple uh, orange filter. This will save you so much money. It's like a $30, $20, I'm not quite sure. Uh, buy this. Uh, there's an Amazon link, affiliate link uh, down below. So just use that because it's gonna save you so much money. All right, so for the first one, 
is the default with the white balance set I almost like 10k. So it looks sharp, the blue is super intense, and it lacks like of coloration in general. But there is a lot of light passing through the camera. You can see the ISO on the bottom right. Now here the prototype. I wanted to show you that prototype filter uh, to show like the different problem that we can have. Uh, at first, you might like the look since it got a lot of blues, but this is not the right coloration. There is like a deviance of coloration towards like the magenta, red, a little bit of yellow also. Uh, this is not the color, the natural color of the corals. Uh, it's not what I see also. So it's oversaturated, which I'm sure a lot of coral sellers uh, will love this, but this is not the real thing. There is also a problem of warping on the picture. You can't really tell because it's a static shot, but just trust me, the warping of the corals and the glass, they are there. Then after you have a lot of sharpness. You pay like a thousand dollars for a quality lens, but if you put something like dirty, like nothing quality in front of the, the lens, it will just get ruined. Now let's move on to the KNF concept. This is a filter that really surprised me. It is pretty close to what I see with my own eyes, but have like a tendency to grow towards like the green. Now with the lens, you are cutting a lot of light. You can see on the bottom right, the ISO is set at 8000, so you lose a lot of light. This can be problematic like in darker area or you might need like a good camera in a low light situation so the ISO can compensate correctly. And also this filter, there's a lot of sharpness. So the quality glass is not perfect, but overall, honestly, it's not that bad considering the price. Now here the Typhon 85. I must admit, at first I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping to cut uh, more blue but this lens is more accurate with color. This is really close to what I see with my eyes. I can even say that it cut more blue than what I see with my eyes. So I think this uh, lens is like a really good balance and it keep a good sharpness and let a lot of light going through the camera. I just wish the coloration of the coral were just more vibrant, but this so far is my favorite. Now let's go with the Typhon 85B. I wanted to know which of the two versions was the best. And this is the reason why I'm making this video. I received some comments on forums and on direct message on my Instagram, but I needed to make my own test and make like a comparison video for you so you can see right away which of the two versions is the best. The difference with the regular Typhoon 85 is really minimal, but there is one. The color is slightly more vibrant and cut slightly more blue. You lose a tiny bit of more light, but it's worth the loss and the sharpness is also very good. Overall, so far between all the 6 orange filters I've tested so far, this Typhon 85B will be my choice. So here a comparison of every orange filter for saltwater aquarium side by side. I'm sure a lot of you without like understanding will jump on the prototype filter. So this is why I explained a little bit earlier about the, the accuracy of the filters. Keep in mind what you see is zoom out. So you can't really tell the sharpness loss. And obviously, if you're watching this on a smartphone, it's even harder. But I hope that side-by-side -side comparison will help you. So here the same shot, but zoom in. You can see the difference of glass quality. Each one of them is slightly different with an advantage for the Typhon filters. Now here the orange filters. I put them like on a white paper so you can see a little bit the difference between each one of them. And like I said, the Typhon 85B will be like my ideal choice between all four of them. But it's hard to tell the difference between each one of them just like so. So I'm gonna put that on a light so you can see how they react. So now that I've put the orange filter on the light diffuser, you can see how they react. It's super obvious now. So this is why uh, each orange filter react differently so it's how the light goes through the orange filter is slightly different for each one of them so they are made differently uh, they have like different purpose they are not made for aquarium usage but we can use that for aquarium it kind of work now if you're looking for a professional orange filter for your DSLR mirrorless camera the Typhon ED5B will be my choice it does a pretty well job honestly it's not that perfect I'm still looking for the perfect one but the, between the six of them that I bought, this one will be my choice. It's the most accurate. Uh, I just wish it filtered a little bit more blue. 
Um, and if you want to support me, you can click on the affiliate link, Amazon link, uh, down below in the description or on the comments. I put the, the link there so you can buy the, the Tafran filter. And if you really want to help me, to support me, go on my Patreon. Uh, that will be like a super cool. Um, I don't know what to do with my finger. But uh, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.